made a uh, an adapter. This whole thing here I welded it up for the drill. So let's see what it can do. The drill is underpowered. Well, at least the adapter works. So. Just look. The drill's underpowered, but it works fine. No, it's like uh, it's the same. Well, the drill, drill worked. Uh, the adapter worked good. The drill's a little underpowered, like I said. Went down through most of it pretty good, but uh, then it started to struggle. Um, we don't have enough water here, so we're going to move on to a different spot. Extension for it. Nice. No, this is so thick. You get on that side, I'll get on this side. Well, we're testing all over the place here now. As you can see, there's there's a fair bit of people out here, but all the optimum spots is kind of taken. There's a this is a brackish water here, so the tide is actually low right now. It's not a good time to be out fishing. But uh, what we're trying to do is there's a few channels where there's a fresh water runs into here and it creates like a little bit of a deeper divot, I guess, in, in the uh, lake's floor. This is considered a lake, even though it rises with the tides and drops with the tide. But anyways, uh, we're just looking for water right now because every, everywhere we've drilled, we have no more than three inches of water. So, uh, yeah, that's all we're doing. Looking for some water. Worst case scenario, we got out for a nice ride. Red and white lure, fake worm, and a monofilament, hand lining it, old school. Alright, I got a fish on, oh she's nice, oh my goodness. <laughs> Knocked over the camera, look at that, first trout of the day. <laughs> that was a nice trout, eh, buddy? <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. Look at that. You got him. <laughs> there we go. That's the fish. Not bad, eh? Beautiful fish. Let's put another one on. Let's get another one hooked. Uh, I used to. I got. I am. I. I'm gonna say no, because it's been like since my teenage years since yeah, I I did. Same as me. But uh, I did buy a brand new fly rod, new flies come, when I was coming here. I just bought one the other day. I just bought a brand new fly rod. Yeah. So I'm gonna be doing more, getting back into it. I always enjoyed fly fishing. It's just it's, it's always more convenient when I'm doing what I'm doing with a telescopic rod. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Something I can just throw in the pack and go and. There's some there now, I can feel them. I can feel them swimming around. They're bumping the line. I can feel it. I can, they're bumping the line. They're not touching the hook. They're hitting the line above it. Either that, you got there's something there, like an old tree or something. Season one. Yeah. Another beauty. 
Nice. Yeah, it's a nice one. Yeah. See it? Nice. Alright. Big enough heat. What do you think? Oh my! Get out of it. Check it out. Oh, nice trout. Oh! 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 Oh!
Hey girl. Want something to eat? There you go. Part of what I'm doing, oh, there's lights, too many lights, lights everywhere. Um, part of what I'm doing with this dog is getting her used to, at a young age, being me right now, being her only source of uh, protection. She would normally not be on her own, obviously, if she was a wild dog. She still would be with the pack, or at least her mom. So I'm just giving her that comfort out in the middle of nowhere, off leash. So she won't venture too far. So then I don't have to worry about a dog that runs away. A dog that gets distracted, now that's something else I gotta work with. But this is the best way I find to get that trust. If, if you got an older dog, like I said, I, I got her from the SPCA, so um, not all dogs at the SPCA are puppies. Oh, good girl. Be outside. Still working on that one. When you can get them out somewhere where you're their only source of protection, but you really got to know your dog's personality for that. Like I know she's gonna not let me get too far away. Because she's at that age. Now some dogs are more independent than others, especially if you get them as an adult, and then you have to. Uh, really gauge their personality before you try something like this because some dogs are fine just taking off and not coming back. Good girl. Let's go up the hill, ready? Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Hey Harvey, come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. If I stop, she's only going to venture so far. And she turns around. So she knows I'm heading back, but if I trick her and go this way. Bye, Torvi. I see you as you trick me. Bye, Torby. I'm going down. Going down the hill. There she is. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Good girl. She's got a uh, double coat, too, so. It's just she's a she's a puppy, so it's still not filled in. Oh, she's a good girl. Oh, she's a good girl. She just this is her den, right? So that's what she's doing. She's running to safety. We got, I got close enough to the den that I wasn't required. She could just run to the den. So. We gotta work with that. Hey, Torby. Hey, let's show him though. Hey, you want this? Torby, sit. Torby, sit. Good girl. She gets that, uh, probably about, ooh, that's bright. Probably about, uh, 70% of the time. Uh, depends on the day, but uh, she usually gets sit pretty good. Torby, try it again. Sit. Good girl. There you go. And one more. Torby, come over here. Come here. Torby, Torby, sit. Good girl. This one here. She's working with it's when I say no, 
and when I say okay she when I say no she thinks I mean no forever but Torvi 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 sit good girl Torvi no no okay okay Okay, this is the part she has trouble with. I gotta basically give it to her now. Okay. Let me lift that up. Here. <laughs> we'll get there. A little bit at a time. You got the life, do you? I'm gonna head to bed there now, and I will see you guys in the morning. Torvi. Good morning, Torvi. Morning, Pop. Gonna get up? You gonna get up? Or you gonna be a lazy bones? Huh? You gonna get up or you gonna be a lazy bones? <laughs> you poop. Gonna be lazy, are ya? Gonna be lazy? Well, while she sleeps in, I'm gonna get some breakfast going. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh man, I look tired. It's because I am. Didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Mostly because of my shoulder pain. All right, let's get some breakfast going to go. Who is it? Come in. Oh, hey, puppy. You're going over there with the poor cat. Don't go on the blanket. You're going to get it dirty. Here, tear it up so you eat it over here. Scarf that back pretty quick, didn't ya? Didn't ya? Yeah. Got a mess, mate. Whatever. It's about the blood pudding over on the back now. You silly pup. You silly pup. What you doing? Oh, I put in way too much coffee. Strong. What you doing, huh? What you doing, huh? What you doing, huh? What you doing? What you doing? We're gonna be heading back out really soon. I gotta just pack up and finish my breakfast. Come on. Come on, Torby. Come on. Come on. Show everyone the snow coming in. Lots of snow. You can't even see the hills out there now. Uh, the snow is hitting. The, the, the wind is starting to pick up. You can hear it. Blowing across in the distance. 
It's supposed to get up to like 60 or 70 kilometer winds, I think, today. So this is going to turn into a blizzard real quick in just a couple hours. So we're actually going to get ready, head out of here. Come on, pup. Come on. Oh, she could use the bathroom. Yep, I knew it. Anyways, well, uh, we're going to pack up and get out of here and uh, before we get ahead of the storm and get home before church service so hopefully we can get to that if it's still on the go but anyways i'll see you guys later thanks again for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one take care bye we made bad decisions